Hey there, Eggheads. Juan Carlos Bagnell here at New Egg Studios, and we're here. We made it. We're now living in the future, the magical year 2020. And it's time for one of the year's most future-focused events. I'm, of course, talking about CES 2020 in Las Vegas. And we're gonna have some boots on the ground, some exciting people uh, covering shows and events and press conferences. But here are a few things that we're looking forward to, maybe a few predictions, and also we wanna get some input from you. What are you looking forward to at this year's show? First up, we've gotta talk about the 5Gs. Now, 5G technology has been talked about at a couple shows now, but it's really in earnest making its rollout across the country, across the world. Companies like LG, Samsung, OnePlus, they're all starting to jump on this train and carriers are starting to support it for reals with actual towers and radio technologies. I've been test driving Sprint's 5G rollout on my V50. I gotta say, faster download speeds, they don't suck. So the pressure's really gonna be on CES for the company that's going to do the most with 5G this year. All of that new bandwidth, and especially in freeing up that network congestion so we can get more devices on all of these networks. We're sure we're gonna see things from Samsung, from Microsoft, Intel, Qualcomm, everyone's gonna be rushing into this space. So who's gonna have the most exciting pitch for 5G? Next up, data analysis and privacy a hot button issue around the world, also flaring up here locally. We're here in California and our new data privacy law is going into effect at the beginning of this year. So we're going to be seeing a lot of conversations about protecting user privacy, and then also the companies that play in the space and profit off of the interactions that we have online. Even Apple is gonna have a presence at this year's show for the first time in years, possibly decades to be on a panel discussing consumer privacy and data protection. This is gonna be a really interesting topic to follow, not only over the course of the show, but also over 2020. Next up, display technologies. CES is a perfect place to show off all kinds of new displays, and we're running headlong into the world of 8K. We can expect a lot here from the traditional TV and monitor manufacturers. I'm sure LG's gonna have something up their sleeves for 8K Ultra HD certified panels and monitors and TVs. But of course that begs the chicken and the egg debate of big 8K TV with what 8K content will you watch on it? We know LG's gonna show off a new ultra wide monitor, has a lot to offer. 3840 by 1600 curved, 144 hertz refresh rate, NVIDIA G-Sync capable, that's gonna be real nice. A quick pit stop in the world of smartphones. CES, not usually the show to talk about mobile, but we know OnePlus is gonna have a presence on the show floor, hot off the heels of successes like the OnePlus 7 Pro, the OnePlus 7T. They're gonna be showing off a concept phone. They're describing it as smoother, faster, and more burdenless experience an alternate design approach to using a smartphone. My grand prediction, I actually think OnePlus is gonna play this one a little bit more simple than some of the other radical folding and bendy designs that we've seen in 2019. They've got a huge parts bin to play with from their parent company, and their main DNA is focused on the sleekest, most streamlined smartphone experience. I think what we'll see is something fast, snappy, exciting, and ultra, ultra smooth. What is a great category to show off at CES? We're gonna see more wearables. Moving through smartwatches and fitness trackers, this product category is primed to explode over the next couple years. We're gonna be getting into heads-up displays, smart glasses, instant translators, and all kinds of new true wireless earbud audio technologies. This is definitely gonna be an exciting category. All of the accessories that complement our computers and our smartphones and our tablets, the world of Star Trek computing is here. Every CES brings us smarter home accessories. This year's not gonna be any different. We're gonna see smart assistants baked into every nook and cranny of your home network. I, we're gonna see smart assistants with displays. We're gonna see more coordination with different services. And we know companies like Google, Amazon, and Facebook with their portal smart displays are gonna have a strong presence on this year's show floor. Nvidia had a strong year in 2019 with RTX tech. And for 2020, I think they're gonna be making a bigger play into all over home computing. 
especially with their new Shield devices. The Shield name has been used for a bunch of different products over the last decade, but this new 4K HDR Shield streaming device provides some of the best visuals you can get in this category. We wouldn't be surprised to see more peripherals and service integrations announced at this year's show. AMD also had a really strong year in 2019 for CPUs, and there are rumors coming out that we might actually see a push for their new GPU products at CES, which would be an interesting time shift. That kind of graphics processing discussion is usually saved for E3. There's nothing confirmed. We don't have any official word that AMD is gonna be showing this off in Las Vegas, but after such a strong year, posting some of the best competition against Intel, this would be a great way for them to double down and keep that Team Red discussion present. And there we have it, folks, some of our thoughts, some of our predictions, what we hope to see, what we expect to see in Las Vegas CES 2020. And of course, we want to hear from you. As the Consumer Electronics Show has morphed and changed over the years, what kinds of products, what kinds of product categories, and what kind of new tech are you most excited to hear about. We're gonna have a team out there in Las Vegas covering all of the biggest announcements. And we also wanna get your feedback on what are the cool new tech products that you want us to check out. So make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. Make sure you smash that bell icon, get all of the notifications, get all of the videos from CES 2020. For Newegg Studios, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, and I will catch you all on the next video.